one of the officials identified the warship as the French frigate Vendemiaire and said it was shadowed by the Chinese military. The official was not aware of any previous French military passage through the Taiwan Strait. The official said that as a result of the passage, China notified France it was no longer invited to a naval parade to mark the 70 years since the founding of China's navy. Warships from India, Australia and several other nations participated. China said on Thursday it had lodged stern representations with France for what it called an illegal passage. China's military sent navy ships in accordance with the law and the rules to identify the French ship and warn it to leave. Defense Ministry spokesman Ren Kuakiang told a regularly scheduled media briefing, while declining to say if the sailing had led to the withdrawal of France's invitation to the parade of ships this week. China's military will stay alert to firmly safeguard China's sovereignty and security, he said. Colonel Patrick Steiger, the spokesman for France's military chief of staff, declined to comment on an operational mission. The U.S. officials did not speculate on the purpose of the passage or whether it was designed to assert freedom of navigation. Mounting tensions The French Strait Passage comes against the backdrop of increasingly regular passages by U.S. warships through the strategic waterway. Last month, the United States sent Navy and Coast Guard ships through the Taiwan Strait. The passages upset China, which claims self-ruled Taiwan as part of its territory. Beijing has been ramping up pressure to assert its sovereignty over the island. The transit is a sign that countries like France are not only looking at China through the lens of trade but from a military standpoint as well, Denmark said. Last month, France and China signed deals worth billions of euros during a visit to Paris by Chinese President Xi Jinping. French President Emmanuel Macron wants to forge a united European front to confront Chinese advances in trade and technology. It is important to have other countries operating in Asia to demonstrate that this is just not a matter of competition between Washington and Beijing, that what China has been doing represents a broader challenge to a liberal international order, Denmark, who is with the Woodrow Wilson Center think tank in Washington, added. Washington has no formal ties with Taiwan but is bound by law to help provide the island with the means to defend itself and is its main source of arms.